Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Jay. This is The Sims Addict. So today we are building the first micro home that I have built with the new um, stuff pack that came out. So this is under 32 tiles, which is the parameters for the micro homes. There's three different levels. Um, Micro, something else, and a tiny home, they all have different attributes to the things, and it goes 32, 64, and then 100 tiles, I believe. Um, so I wanted to kind of challenge myself with how I could do this kind of setup. Um, I knew that I wanted to include a couple things, so this lot does include a deck that has a pool on it. Um, it also has a 2x2 two two office area with a desk and an easel, and then it has um, a large yard with like built-in plots and like gardening and stuff like that. So um, you'll see me place that plant that's kind of on the countertop there, but that's in the final build that's going to have to be deleted because it makes the countertop, even though it's like placed with the snap, the move objects on. It, for some reason, won't let you put anything on the countertops, but everything is play tested in this house. Um, and the one by three kitchen, as well as the one by one bathroom, I have up on the gallery as separate rooms that you, if you can, if you want to download. Um, I did three separate one by one bathrooms. I was influenced by a, um, I don't remember who it was, but one of James Turner's builds. He, uh, but he showcased one of the one by one bathrooms and showed how you could do that with sizing down a sink and having the shower from university and things like that. So I have one of those that were on my page and there are two other ones. I did a more simple one and then there's like a trailer like 70s bright green type style. So the overall aesthetic for this house is... Um, kind of modern, a little bit more laid back, um, a lot of woods, a lot of blacks, some metals. Um, I didn't want to go like overly like industrial or anything, but definitely a little bit more like modern but cozy. Um, when we get to the landscaping, I did utilize a lot of the uh, debug objects, so a lot, that for some reason this whole island none of the plants are in the catalog so you have to go to debug to get anything to match the existing world and so that was kind of like included in that because I wanted to have like the tall grasses so it looked a little bit more like it's in with nature and to not have this extremely manicured landscape um Another thing that I did do with the gardening, all of the little plots, I, it took me forever to try to find them um, under debug. I thought they were in the regular catalog and then I had the filters on, but they're from, um, what is that, Outdoor Retreat or something like that. So it took me forever to try to find those. And uh, I did use these fence posts in the debug catalog too. They're a little bit more like rustic and... Um, I thought it was very interesting if anyone's heard the developers talk about the game that just came out, but they wanted to focus on a, I don't remember the name of it, but it's a Scandinavian idea or like way of life or something like that. And they, one of the YouTubers who is Scandinavian talked about it and it's, something that can be a style but it's also like a feeling or something and it's just like meant to be like this like cozy like feeling and like warmth and just like I don't know like I forgot the name of it but she was saying that like a night in on her couch like with a blanket and like a knitted sweater and like playing her switch or something like that was what that was to her and so I thought that was pretty interesting how they're um, kind of diving in more to other um, other areas not just an American based game so 
So over here we are working on the layout. I did try to use a lot of the um, new furniture that we got. I was a little disappointed with the color swatches for the wood. I think it's a little bit more... I don't know. They're very like mid-century modern style and the wood choices represent that. I would have liked a little bit more like tone back options. But um yeah, so we use this blue subway tile in the like kind of main kitchen bathroom area and then there is kind of the stucco and then the wood that's on the outside as well on the inside to kind of bring that in. I used um the really worn wood floor that we got with Get Famous. Um, with a lot of the furnishings, I figured that something like a tiny house wouldn't necessarily be something that um, would be kind of like all matchy-matchy, like it would be like different furniture pieces that you would get over time. And so there are like some that have like random blues and like other textures and things like that. Um really happy with a lot of the decorative items that came with the pack. I like the hanging lights that you just see me put there and then there's the um, kind of four plant thing that goes on the wall and those are really nice. They come in a lot of nice colors. Um, a lot of the tables I noticed though are very like large. The, the end tables and the coffee tables and everything like that I would have thought they would have tried to make those a little bit smaller but found a way to put a couple in here so the deck area is only two by four and then the two in the front are the stairs and then there's the ladder getting into the pool so it was you couldn't put like a grill or anything like that well I'm sure you probably could but um I just did a little table and chair out there it is covered so I wasn't necessarily worried about it being like it I mean not that it matters it's the game but it's got like the upholstered cushion and stuff like that and then the little office area over there to the left that's two by two is accessible from the back of the house. It's not necessarily, um, it's got windows into the main, like, kind of central deck part off of the pool. But it, um, yeah, the main entrance is in the back. I thought that would kind of be like, for different reasons, maybe like professional reasons or something like that, have it like separated from the rest of the main living area. Um, so because this is a lot on the island, there is no like hard edge in terms of like a sidewalk to put anything. It's kind of just like on this like beach area. And so I made this kind of large patio and this is where I put all the gardening stuff. So you can see here it's taken me forever to try to find these pots. Eventually I do get on the gallery and just find um, somebody's room who uploaded it with a bunch of them and then I found it immediately after that which was fun. So yeah, so thanks uh, Brittany Gomez for that. I do have a lot of the plants in here and like already in the... Um, in the planners, when I uploaded this, it's already on my gallery. It's under Thorn Sims 06. I'll also have it listed in the description below. Um, a lot of them are evolved to where they're like higher quality plants, but I did notice that certain things when I was playtesting the bathrooms, if you like upgrade uh, certain appliances or like plumbing or anything like that, it doesn't transfer when you download it from the gallery. So I don't know if plants are the same way. Um, included things like the beekeeper areas and um, I was going to put the scarecrow in there but it has like these pumpkins on the base of it I didn't think that really like fit the aesthetic you're going for unless you're doing like a country fall time build or anything like that so I didn't include any of that um, here I'm working on the terrain paint a little bit adding in a little bit more foliage and then off of the back here off of the back is kind of bare so I put in three of the bigger ones and when you see the screenshots you'll see that I put the apple trees back here and I thought that'd be kind of like a good way to fill it in a little bit put some more plants 
And then there's some lighting throughout here. I didn't want it to be like too over the top outside because I don't think that a more rustic build like this would be full of immaculate lighting. And then I just threw a guitar out here, some lighting with the lounge chairs. And we're getting ready to finish up this build. I'm just putting in some finishing touches. So go ahead and like and subscribe and this will be on the gallery and with that we are getting ready to go in the screenshots. I will speak to you guys soon. Bye.